Hey, this is Rocket Brain Surgeon, and today we're talking about flying above the performance envelope. The performance envelope is seen on the right side. It is the green bar. You can see there's three sections, a bright green, a dark green, and a gray section. That is the performance envelope indicator by the altitude meter. Flying above this range and below this range gives your plane uh, decreased flight characteristics. Why would you want to go into a place where there's decreased flight characteristics and your plane is basically a flying brick? Well, because altitude is an advantage even if your plane handles like a flying brick. Right now I am climbing outside of the range of the BF-110C6 and I am far above my performance envelope. And the thing to notice is that your plane is going to react as if you're flying through sludge, pudding, jello, whatever you want to call it. And so it's very critical to make sure that your speed is within the green performance indicator. So when I'm making the turns at this altitude, you may see me boost rather than put on the flaps because my, I don't want my speed to drop too low. I'll basically stall in air and be an incredibly easy target for the opponents. You'll notice that I dropped into my performance zone and the plane became much faster and more responsive almost instantly. And that can be jarring, but it's something you have to pay attention to. Even a couple hundred meters difference in altitude can make the difference in terms of nimbleness or being nearly immobile. Right here we're going to see the BF-109 in front of me. He is outside of his altitude performance and his speed performance. He's basically hanging in air. This other 109 is in the same situation. He's climbing, he's outside of both zones. He tries to turn, but he literally can't. Now here's a mistake that I'm making only because he's on the tail of my teammate. I should have not climbed up to reach him because it stalls me out. It took me outside of my speed performance envelope and if there was an enemy around me or noticed me in that situation, I would have been easily dead. The correct thing to do in that situation is when you're climbing vertically after an enemy, when your speed goes from the bright green area to the dark green area of the performance envelope, you need to turn around and just accept that you cannot climb any higher. Because the threat of stalling out is so severe, especially compounded when you're above your performance uh, envelope in altitude as well, that you just can't risk stalling out. Alright, let's go over some of the key points again. One, keep your speed up when outside your altitude envelope. This will prevent stalling and make your plane a lot more maneuverable than it could be. Stop your vertical climb when the speed goes from bright to dark green. This will prevent stalling and prevent enemies on your tail from getting easy shots. And lastly, above the altitude envelope, just don't expect to maneuver well even with these tips, simply because your plane is outside of its element. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting.